topic is risk system and uh, mayur covered like the reason for grid system like what makes what are the advantages of that and i'll be covering the types of grid system so we'll start with what is a layout grid a two dimensional framework to align and lay out design elements it has position individual components and ways that can catch the eye create a user flow and make information visuals more appealing and accessible to audiences so basically it is a simple way of making your design more accessible more aesthetic and more user friendly now we go on to the types of layout grid there are many types and each uh, different type of layout grid is used for different reasons but the main five main ones are manuscript column baseline modular hierarchical in manuscript uh, basically this is the simplest uh, form of layout grid in which okay so now there are like one second uh, two of two images one shows the grid and one is the example of using that grid so for manuscript grid it is basically just a rectangle or a square which gives spacing to the margin so within this blue um, grid you can have any sort of content like images text whatever now the uh, most basic example for this would be a novel where you know it's like uh, blocks of information and i mean blocks of text and you just like place it within um, like a rectangle so that there is like enough margins on both sides i mean all four sides then the next type is column grid in this uh, it is basically like instead of one whole uh, grid it is divided into columns so that there is like a better way of chunking the information so for this the best example would be newspapers and magazines so as you can see here this is the grid four columns and this is how the information can be placed in it now over here um, when you are placing images or any kind of illustrations or something there is no particular rule to like follow just uh, filling just one um, column you can like extend it to any number of columns but text is preferably kept in one column then we have baseline grid which is like uh, back in school we had these notebooks which were like filled with rule paper so that is basically what baseline grid is it gives a uh, guidelines for you to place text on so again as you can see yeah sure so this is the blue lines are just the lines for which on which the text can be placed and here we have the text placed on those lines then we have modular grid which is a version of the column grid except that now it also has rows so a modular grid is usually used when there is too much information and uh, you want it to you know uh, sit in like a very organized way so now each block over here is called a module that's why it's called a modular grid in this there is no particular rule about uh, following uh, these boxes as in the text can go for more than one module same with images so you can get like pretty uh, creative with this kind of grid and again newspapers and magazines use this grid or they use the column grid then we have the hierarchical grid which is uh, i mean as the name suggests it's for uh, you know maintaining hierarchy in your uh, layout so basically in this it, it doesn't necessarily have to be one single grid you can combine a number of grids and you know get creative with the whole process so here i have uh, combined three types of grids this is the modular grid this is the manuscript grid and this is the baseline grid and this is how the information can be placed using that grid.